Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new keyboard from Wooting, the Wooting 2HE. To get into the basics of the keyboard, it is an analog keyboard, the frame is aluminum, and each switch is a lecker switch. And at the bottom of the stem is a magnet, which connects to a sensor on the PCB, which actually allows you to change the actuation per switch from 0.1 millimeters and 4 millimeters. And you can see the tops of the Lecker switches are a transparent PC plastic, which help diffuse the RGB throughout the keyboard and those shine through keycaps, which come default with ABS or PBT if you order them. And not only do the Lecker switches look good, but they feel good and they sound even better. And the Lecker switches are not something that have metal leaves. There's no pins, there's no optics, or any other sensitive hardware that kind of makes it feel like a typical mechanical switch. It just feels good and it's probably one of the best linear switches that I've personally ever used to date and I think these switches sound absolutely phenomenal. In my custom keyboard, I was using Novel Key Creams, which I absolutely love, but honestly, the Lecker switches just feel so good. They feel like a perfectly lubed novel key cream that is easier on the downstroke and just so much more poppy on the upstroke. One of the most important things that I always talk about on this channel and I try to focus on in my reviews is whether or not a particular gaming product makes me feel better, worse, or I stay the same in game. A lot of keyboards that I've tried over time, I don't really necessarily get a benefit, right? The response times are usually generally phenomenal, not something that necessarily feel any ghosting in game from any of the big named keyboards that have released to date. But one of the things about this keyboard are those Lecker switches and that magnetic technology allowing me to set an actuation point per key. One of my favorite aspects of the keyboard in Apex is Rapid Trigger, where you can essentially reset the key and repeat the actuation without having to take the switch back up to its resting position when you are repeatedly hitting A and D to wiggle strafe. And I think it plays out very well and I have not felt better in Apex or strafing. The easiest way to illustrate the adjustable actuation point is showing you this GIF where the actuation goes from 0.1 to 4 millimeters. With rapid trigger, you can see that you can actually reset the actuation by letting go of the switch a little bit and then reactivating it. The booting software is quite easy to use. You can see that you can set your per key actuation and your global actuation. I just have all my keys at 1.5 right now. Rapid trigger, you can turn on and set your reset actuation, and then tachyon mode is the fastest response time for the keyboard. There are other keyboards on the market that have adjustable actuation points, but for me, the best feature, again, is the trigger feature, where I can reset the actuation of a switch without having to go back past whatever the actuation point is or was, and I, it just makes strafing and wiggle strafing in game so much more immediate and so much more responsive that what you are thinking in your head as to where you want to go just feels that much faster, that much better, and it really helps you avoid as much damage as possible in those scenarios. The keyboard also has dynamic keystrokes and analog movements, so for those who are playing MMOs or RTS, you can actually bind macros to one keystroke at different actuation points of the keystroke, which I think is just absolutely insane. The keyboard also has analog movement where if you want to turn WASD into a joystick or controller type feeling, like in a racing game where you want to turn slightly right instead of all the way right, you can do that on this keyboard, which is insane. I have a custom keyboard from KBD fans that ran me a little over $250, and the novel key creams that I got lube don't feel nearly as good as the Lecker switches in the Wooting. Despite the fact that my Wooting is not hot swappable, I can change the actuation point of each switch whenever I want to in the software. And I think that that has tremendous value given the fact that instead of having to buy switches, take the time to change switches, you have the ability to simply open software and take two seconds to change the actuation point of any switch on this keyboard to whatever you want. Not only that, but you can remap any key on this keyboard to whatever you want per key. You can remap the RGB per key to whatever you want, and the RGB profiles and the RGB on the keyboard look very good. You can change the keyboard from digital to analog, and you can get that analog input feel of a joystick or a controller. 
and the actuation point on the Lecker switches from 0.1 to 4 millimeters is such a wide range that if you do happen to have any accidental key presses in game or if you want to bind your ultimate ability to something higher so you don't accidentally hit it, you can do that on this keyboard. Not only that, but the fact that you can have key binds and macros on one key at different actuation points I think is absolutely amazing. I can see people in MMOs having tremendous use of that ability on this keyboard. And the keyboard just feels good. It feels sturdy. I don't have any issues. It sounds absolutely phenomenal when I type on it and it feels very, very good. There is some ping again on the board if you listen closely. Uh, certainly different types of uh, plates and membranes might feel and provide a different typing experience. Uh, but just in general, the typing experience is very good. The gaming experience is very good. I think they did a great job with the stabilizers. And the fact that it makes me a better player, it makes me feel more confident and feel like a better player in Apex Legends. Um, I honestly did not think a keyboard could do that and this did that for me. So in my opinion, the Wooting is absolutely worth it. Again, if you don't like the full-size keyboard, um, certainly I have issues with full-size keyboards. I like 60% keyboards. Uh, and my understanding is on October 7th, they actually do open uh, the 60% Founders program, uh, which I will certainly be signing up for because I love everything about this keyboard. I love the customization. And again, it is the best feeling gaming experience I've had on a keyboard to date. If that helped, guys, please leave a subscription to the channel. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next review. Peace.